Good morning guys, how are we all doing? I am Dan from Trading with Dan. Happy Sunday everybody, hope we're all having a good weekend. Firstly, apologies for the lack of video yesterday. I was up and early and out again uh, in the morning so I didn't have time. Um, it was nothing to do with going out or hangovers or drinking or anything. Like again, another whole weekend with like no alcohol. No, uh, no, 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 too, no, too much uh, exciting really, other than just my, uh, other than just my, uh, my, my side hustle entertainment job. Uh, funnily enough, though, I won't be having to leave to, um, I won't be having to leave so early to go and uh, do these, uh, do these jobs in Manchester at the weekend anymore, because I managed to, <laughs> to get me, me and my mate <laughs> managed to get ourselves sacked in, well, in, in inverted commas sacked. I mean, clearly, we're only really doing it for a laugh, but yeah, but nonetheless, <laughs> well, even even when I say sat, we basically quit. Uh, we quit anyway, so it was uh, it was quite funny. It was quite a funny event. <laughs> but anyway, anyway, so yeah, apologies for the lack of video. It was nothing to do with um, uh, it was just to do with me having to leave, having to leave early. So uh, yeah, uh, so we shall go straight over uh, to those Bitcoin charts that are basically not actually doing anything. As you can see, we have got um, extremely low volatility at the moment, and clearly this is going to make a move. I mean, we can kind of look at the uh, at the pattern that's forming. Uh, you could kind of look at it as a, a symmetrical triangle. Maybe you want to look at it as an ascending triangle on a larger time frame. As in, not in a larger time frame, but just a longer space of time. Um, yeah, I mean, what I would say is we have got this lower high here. We have got this uh, series of higher lows. Well, s relative series of higher lows. Uh, so, I mean... I'm not necessarily looking at this uh, fully as an ascending triangle, although obviously if we get above here, get above this high, we can then get some acceleration that then can hopefully get us through this these highs and then through this resistance and yeah, and then play out a nice move to the upside. Uh, the flip side is obviously we come down. It it seems like this market in a way seems like it does want to come down, but obviously it kind of it knows if it does, it takes out this low and then we actually can trigger a move that back down towards uh, towards thirty thousand. Uh, and um, yeah, I mean no one really wants that, do they? <laughs> uh, so yeah, uh, I guess the bears want that. Uh, but that is kind of looking like what is at stake here. We ha have a look at we'll have a look at traditional markets, see how they closed. I mean this is a pretty uh, pretty swift and sharp rejection here. Uh, full on uh, reversal candle, swing failure, whatever, doji uh, candle uh, above this resistance slammed back down uh, to what is a particularly a bad close relative to the previous price action obviously closing in the middle of this range is not necessarily the worst thing obviously we'd like to close towards the top we wouldn't like to close towards the bottom we close in the middle that's fair enough but this is a pretty swift rejection rejection um which is not ideal uh, which is uh, certainly uh, not ideal uh, if we kind of have a look at a, the all the other markets indicating what is uh, going on risk wise uh, it gold is looking like it wants to uh, make another leg up uh, the 10 year is obviously squeezing squeezing high here uh, the dollar index is looking like it wants to well I say make another leg up it's practically at these highs but it's looking like it wants to bust through those highs uh, oil similarly had a pullback potentially looking like it wants to uh, it wants to potentially make a move back up to the upside this is the one that I'm least convinced with to be honest though oil does look like it maybe maybe uh can get basically back up to around the 114 1, 112 112 to 114 level if it does get above here then yeah maybe we can go uh go back up towards these highs but and I'm, I'm struggling i am struggling to see it because ultimately we're gonna uh with this environment is gonna result in demand destruction uh, and that will have to be priced in going forwards. Obviously, uh, these rate rises, uh, rate rises or inflation, whatever you want to look at it, either way, are basically a tightening of money, monetary conditions uh, getting priced in the 10 year here. Um, and uh, yeah, gold also, gold also uh, not looking too bad. So um, yeah, uh, all in all, it is looking a pretty risky environment. I think all eyes will be uh, on how this, uh, how this opens this evening. Uh, if we get a continuation of the downside or if we bounce, I am undecided as to a a a buy a a, a what well, I would guess it would go. I literally don't really have a a view. This could go either way. 
uh, yeah, this could go either way. But obviously, that's going to be what is important. If we rally uh, when the futures open, uh, then yeah, maybe the market can have a good week. If we do come back down to this low, um, I mean, it's not. It's just generally not looking good at the moment. We obviously need a. I mean, with WW3 um, in on the cards. Because uh, who knows what is really going on. All we do know is that there's all sorts of insane propaganda and rhetoric that is is no doubt going to rile up people, uh, and maybe uh, maybe uh, uh, maybe uh, get some people to do some silly things, i.e. press press red buttons that they maybe shouldn't do. Um, yeah, I mean the situation is pretty unstable, uh, and obviously uh, as, as 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 high or low the likelihood of of something like that happening. Uh, an all-out, all-out war between uh, potentially, obviously, Russia, NATO, Russia, the U.S., whatever. Uh, as however small those uh, probabilities are, and however like small an increase of those probabilities are, the actual, uh, out, the actual impacts of that happening are huge. In which case, you have to price in a a, a fair decent amount of obviously risk into the market based on something with such a huge uh, outcome. Um, even though it is only a small probability and maybe just a, an increasingly small probability, so yeah, things these these are difficult markets to uh, um, to price risk in. Basically, these are difficult markets to price risk, uh, and obviously these are mar and I mean, we can see it in we can see it in the price action that the uh, that the, it that it's finding it hard. Rallies are getting sold. Uh, commodities are kind of going wild. Inflation, uh, inflation um, uh, proxies are are doing well, and uh, and yeah, I mean it's not it ain't looking too good. All all I will honestly say is that I'm surprised to see Bitcoin where it is and not having tanked lower, which is kind of what is like making me think that this market does want to test lower, but. Clearly, these are illiquid markets, and it doesn't take too much of support or buy-in to try and break us up. And if you are involved in this market, and you are obviously more likely to be the long side, most of the market, most of the people involved in crypto will be to the long side, not the short side. Uh, you kind of have a vested interest on this breaking up, so maybe, maybe this will get recognised as a, uh, as a, uh, <coughs> as a, um, as a point in the chart, a point in the, in the, in the cycle. Uh, that they, that somebody's got to step up and start to try and try and either support and pump this price because if we break down from here things are going to look pretty bad. If we break up, I mean, we can just sustain sustain this sideways within this larger range, uh, whilst we hope for a resolution uh, on obviously the the, the uh, geopolitical stage. So. Uh, it's going to be an interesting week. These markets definitely look precariously placed. I don't quite, uh, I'm not keeping fully up to date what is going on in Europe, but um, but obviously uh, we need some sort of a uh, of a de-escalation. Uh, and obviously, obviously the propaganda machine, the mainstream mainstream media uh, war machine is uh is clearly in overdrive um because they they love it they love spending they love they love death and destruction that is literally just how they how they get rich that is just what they do uh so yeah there you go guys uh this is not financial advice i am not a financial advisor and i also forgot to have a peek at those stochastics so before i go we shall have a we shall have a look at that uh, so yeah, four hour, four hour has uh, moved up from a low level, uh, but is looking potent to potentially turn back down here. I think we need to look to these these ten hour, twelve hour, and daily to try and give us some sort of a a impetus to get us back above forty thousand. Uh, and as you can see, ten hour still uh, still downwards, although losing a bit of its downward momentum. Twelve hour looking to turn back up here though. Uh, so 12 hour and the daily is still coming down. So it does look like we potentially need to grind this out a bit. Maybe stock futures open lower. We get another leg down. We then bottom out and move up. Maybe stock futures when they open rally. Bitcoin gets uh, starts to move up and turns these up. And then we do get a decent rally into the 40,000s. Maybe, maybe... Um, Let's get the chart up again. Maybe, maybe take out this horizontal resistance around forty-two thousand, the top part, top part of forty-two thousand, and then yeah, make a move towards the mid forty thousands uh, before uh, maybe, maybe lots of if buts are made before some maybe sideways consolidation. Maybe putting a, a another high low within this uh, potential ascending triangle uh, before then breaking up. Although I would say this is looking a bit more like a uh, a bit more like a pennant. 
um, obviously with this recent rejection down here and not making it up to here if it made it up to here then brilliant it will be looking good uh, but this recent rejection and pullback is uh, is making it look uh, uh, not quite as bullish uh, as as the ascending triangle was potentially potentially looking before so yeah there you go guys uh, I say it again <laughs> this is not financial advice I'm not a financial advisor always do your own research hope you guys are having a great weekend and I shall speak to you guys tomorrow morning